Andy House cordially introduces the story. The Vengeance of the Devil Chapter 1 The Strange Hand on the Window Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to support Andy House. Peace was restored, along with the influx of new, economic people, to the fertile Tain Win region. Mr. Moy and his wife, Ms. Khan, also migrated from Quang Gai to Lam Dong with the hope that the promised land will give them a prosperous, happy life. After more than 20 years of attachment to new lands, slash and burn cultivation, the life of Mr. Moy's family began to become prosperous. While Mr. Moy remained faithful to farming, his wife practiced business. Life was stable and prosperous famous for being the richest neighbor in the village. In the house of Mr. Moy, there are many precious things, and because of that, the thieves pay attention. In recent times, Mr. Moy's house has occurred a series of strange theft. When parents were away, only Twee and a younger sister named Tam were lived in their house. During the day, they went to school. And at night, Twee slept with Tam in her parents' room. One night, while sleeping, Twee clearly heard a strange sound coming from the outside. Twee. Twee. Every time the call grew louder. At this time, Twee is very frightened. Taking all the calm, Twee stood up, looking up at the door. Twee tried to see who was calling her. Suddenly, a strange hand wove through the window then slipped into the bedroom swinging, swinging to make Twee startled to cry loudly in the cold night. Twee was afraid, collapsed down to the bed, embraced Tam. They lay motionless, trying to wait for the morning. After the horrifying night, the money in the house remained intact. The only thing stolen was Mr. Moy's smoking pipe. Thinking about it, Contemplating Mr. Moy still could not remember who he was guilty of. Thinking that the strange arm in the night is just the scary way of jealousy. Mr. Moy decided to let his wife look alone, and he went home to catch a thief. During the day, Mr. Moy still went to work normally. At night, after sending two children at a neighbor's house, he prepared a milling cutter to head to the bed determined not to sleep to wait for the bandit. Nearly one o'clock in the morning, the creaking sound began to intensify from the window. Strange hands appear swinging, swinging. Capital does not believe the devil. Mr. Moy boldly stepped forward. He pushed the door vigorously. The arm suddenly disappeared quickly in an inexplicable way. Tilting his head through the doorway, Mr. Moy tried to see if anyone was there. But before his eyes was still a dark night without a shadow. Mr. Moy was a little frightened. He ran to the bedside to carry the knife to protect himself. More horrifying, the knife disappeared while the door was still locked. At this time, Mr. Moy's limbs began to weaken. He rushed out of the house, running away in the dark. Mr. Moy brought this strange story to Tu, the first daughter of the couple, who is currently studying in Ho Chi Minh City. She didn't want this to continue to happen anymore. She silently, secretly went to the Saigon Detective Center, TNT, receiving the mission. Detective Saigon, TNT, quickly appeared in Bao Lam District, Lam Dong Province, and embarked on this unique mission.